Uh, we're going to try something pretty special today, chat. We have been experimenting with this idea of the Paladin build. So I've got Paladin for PvE and Paladin for PvP. The PvE of choice that we're doing right now is Dynasty Shipyard Mutation Difficulty 2. So we have Overgrown and Oppressive in here. In terms of team composition, we have a DPS player. So this is a DPS. Nid is playing a Void Gauntlet and Great Axe. We have a DPS player. Uh, with Great Axe and Spear, and then we have a DPS player with Rapier and Spear by the looks of it as well. And then finally, we have a DPS player, and Pyro, what is Pyro playing? He has Rapier and Ice Gauntlet, is that? Rapier and Ice Gauntlet. So yeah, we don't have a tank, and we don't have a healer. We have four DPS. I am both the tank and the healer at the same time, friends. Uh, we are going to be trying the Paladin build. So... In order to make this work, like version one of the build, we have uh, full medium is what I've decided to go for because I thought light equip load, we would be too squishy. We wouldn't be able to take enough damage. If we went with heavy, we wouldn't have enough healing. So I've gone for medium. Uh, and in order to achieve that, we've got a medium helmet. So we've got health refreshing on the helmet. Arcane harnessing is like a side thing. Hey, get that get that life stuff out of here. I don't want to see that. I'm the, I'm the healer. <laughs> we've got health grit ward and sturdy energy on the chest, medium. We have uh, Refreshing, Enchanted Ward, Nature Harnessing. Some of these perks aren't ideal, to be honest, but, you know, it's what we got. Like, Putrefying Scream obviously doesn't do anything for us. Arcane Harnessing only benefits a small amount of the damage that we get from the Flail. And then we have Health, Fortifying Sacred Ground, Arcane Harnessing. Um, for the Armor Slot, my artifact that I've gone for is Michael, which we got from the PvP Rewards track. I've put Mending Vortex on here, but I haven't unlocked the final perk yet. But we're going for it anyway. Um, for my weapon artifact, we're using Odo. Uh, we put a gem slot in so we could get the taunt gem in there. And then my life staff has refreshing move, mending protection, and desperate prayer. Again, I think this would be better if it was blessed, to be honest. But that's what we got. That's what we're going with. I'm probably going to use the stone form heart rune just to stay alive. We've got Ankh for some extra incoming healing on myself so I can stay alive. We have a hearty keen and healing breeze. Ideally keen awareness would be sacred instead. And then lastly, on my earring, we have Despised for a little bit extra tanking, Refreshing Toast, and Healthy Toast. And uh, yeah, I don't know. We might get destroyed here, chat. We might get destroyed. I'll show you guys the Weapon Mastery real quick and the stats as well. So Weapon Mastery, we went with uh, Sacred Ground, Splash of Light, and Orb of Protection. Splash of Light is basically there because... Actually, I don't know. I don't know why Splash of Light is there. We might change that one out. <laughs> In fact, I think it was because it was going to run Purity of Light, isn't it? Yeah, let's change that out real quick. Hold on. Quick, uh, quick change here. I don't think Splash is going to do us any favors. Let's go for Keen Beacon instead. Um, or just Beacon in general, rather. This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And then on the Flail, we've got our two taunts here with the Flail. So we've got the Warding Bludgeon for the taunt with the Carnelian Gem. We've got the Barrage for the taunt. We've got the Ultimate over here, Human Shield. And then we got Mending Vortex for some nice uh, sort of aggro generation. It does hit pretty hard and provide some good healing. Attributes wise, these are sadly a little bit scuffed because Magnify ruined my day. Uh, I would really like to get 200 constitution, 350 focus, but Magnify just... <laughs> so, yeah. Um, it's not going to be too difficult because it is M2. M3 is really where, you know, we're going to be able to test if something works, but let's see. You know, if it works in M2, then maybe it'll work in M3. All right, I'm going for it. Flip it. We're going. Okay, I took a lot of damage already. Okay, we didn't die though. And we're holding aggro. That was pretty spooky, but we didn't immediately die. Good news, everybody. So the benefit of something like this, obviously, is, uh, you know, typically trying to find a healer and trying to find a tank is quite tricky. Um, but if you're a healer and a tank, then all you need to do is find four DPS players, which is not too bad. Also, the benefit of having four DPS is um, we can kill things very, very fast. Because we have four DPS, we can go and we can get kills, like, super, super quickly, so... Should be able to finish the dungeon in, like, record time, in theory. Right, we, we are gonna break this up into two poles, just for now. Let's take it a little bit... Uh, let's get a sacred ground. I need to turn the game sound down probably just a little bit here. Where's the, uh, where's the dude? All right, we lost aggro. Bad news. We are killing things really quickly, though. Now, obviously, it's only difficulty two, so I don't know if it's going to prove too much chat, but... We basically want to make sure that we have... All right, we got one person going down. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Sacred. Okay, we're good. 
My outgoing healing, because we have so much focus, is still going to be pretty solid here, to be honest. Alright, let's get this. We might need to pull a few more enemies here as well, chat. If we can. Let's get a big pull going. Get these guys from over here. One of the benefits of being the uh, healer and the tank is, uh, you know, we're going to generate a lot of aggro like healers typically do with the life staff. And we also have access to some pretty good ranged pulls with the, uh, with the life staff, so... Here we go, dude. Mm, new chant? What is this, Gamji? Light armor next run? No, I don't think light armor would work too well. I think it would be too squishy. I think if our healing is good enough, then why do we even need to bother with light armor, you know? Alright, so we're going to pull these guys over here. Pull them to here if we can. And then we go for the Mending Vortex. Alright, so we need to rotate through our taunts, like, to be careful here. Okay, so the mana drain is actually kind of working in our favor here for, uh... Let's see. Every time we hit him, we lose mana, but losing mana is actually kind of working in our favor because we have the uh, Desperate Prayer. When you are below 50% mana, your heals are 20% more effective, so that's actually kind of working pretty well. This part might be quite challenging. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. You think Light Armor plus the Wall will work for the Paladin build? Uh, yeah, I don't- the wall is so heavy that you might still end up in a med- I think there's no way to wear a tower shield and still be in light. Maybe- maybe with featherweight? But I think tower shields weigh so much though, that's the problem. Oh god, let me dodge! No, I'm gonna die! Sacred ground. Okay, we got this, we got this, we got this. I'm okay. That was kind of spooky. I'm out of mana. Sacred ground. Block. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay. It's working. Don't die, team. Don't die. Okay, one person has gone down, but they're not fully dead. I'm getting bullied into the corner here pretty badly. Sacred ground if I can. Sacred. I'm stuck in the corner. If a silent circle comes up, I'm kind of screwed. Let's see if we can make it through him. Okay, yeah. I'm going to try and drag him over here because that's a bit too spooky for me. Dodge that one. Alright, we're out of mana, but we need the heals. Sacred ground. Spin. Get the fortify. Just pull him out of this one. Block that one. Nice. It's working, chat. It's working. Yeah, I think a tower shield is sadly... There's no way to be in a tower shield and not be in, like, at least medium. So, being light armor with a tower shield, I don't know. I don't think you can do it. Who's gonna off tank? I'll do both. I believe. I don't know. Can I do both? I don't know if I can do both of these actually. <laughs> Me. <laughs> can I tank both of these? I don't know if I can tank both of these. I think I'm gonna end up with aggro. Do you have your build posted? I don't yet. But if this run actually works out, then I will post it up somewhere. We'll probably post this on YouTube. If this actually works out. Right. So, sacred. I'll kite the not breath dog. Okay. This is where the build might fall apart, chat. Things might go bad here. Oh no, I've missed the taunt. Right, got the taunt. Don't kill me, Isabella. Okay, we got it, we got it. Nice. Good job, DPS. Hmm. Alright, alright, we stand over here. Orb on everybody. Alright, then we go in. Sacred ground. Get another taunt. Oh, we should get aggro of all the archers as well, so it's pretty good. Alright, she's down. Right, I don't know if this is going to work. I think I'm going to end, end up getting aggro of this dog over here, so... Good luck, everyone. Good luck, Pyro. <laughs> can you please 100% confirm you can get uh, Abyss from minor portals? You can, but you have twice the amount of chance of getting it from Major. Okay, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's it's working somehow. <laughs> That's a bit scary, but we're okay, we're okay. <laughs> just, uh, just panic and uh, everything will be okay. Can you Ooh. give my cat a shout out, please? 
She watches you every day but she is not good with a keyboard. Okay. She usually just types something like stfoo's food. <laughs> Shoutouts to uh, Pizza's Cat. Um, I hope you're enjoying the stream. Thank you for the 100 bits. And uh, shout outs to Outrage Pizza's Cat. All right, yeah, I think the fact that we have such a massive amount of DPS is helping out, uh, helping us out a lot. But to be in my defense, you know, because we are both the tank and the healer, we can have a whole extra DPS player, so. It's working in our favor. We got some really big damage. Oh, this may be it, chat. Is this the meta? Is this the future? Is the tank gonna be both the, are we gonna have the healer and the tank at the same time? We have a really solid team, to be fair, who know how to do max damage, keep health up, and mechanics. Yeah, I, I don't think this build would work in a pug, to be honest. I don't think this would work with random players. I think you do need, like, some, uh... Oh, eggnog! Phew, okay. Wow, Tana just tanked that one to the face. Okay, we're good, we're good. Got the shrines, the lion shrines. Okay, how are we doing in kills, by the way? All right, so let's stack up. And then once we get all the shrines, we'll bring her out of here. Okay, here we go. Aw. Uh, one down. Sacred ground over here, so she comes over to me, hopefully. Eggnog, dodge that one. Oh, no, just take it to the face. I don't know why Eggnog isn't... Did they nerf the amount of damage Eggnog does? Oh, God, I'm... Being bad right now. Baggins, come on, dude. What are you doing? Stop being a baddie. Eggnog. Blocked it. There we go. We, we actually blocked an eggnog. Alright, we gotta. We gotta. There we go, dude. Nice. <laughs> blame the tank and the healer. Yeah, you can. You can blame both at the same time. There it is, dude. The paladin build in action. Not too bad. I think, uh, again, I'm not sure if it would work in a pug. I'm not sure if it would work in mutation difficulty three. But for M2, playing both the tank and the healer at the same time is a pretty smooth run. Just got to juggle between uh, finding the right time to block and finding the right time to use your abilities. But yeah, no deaths. Pretty fast time. Didn't get normal enemies killed, but you have to do like the barrel strap for that one. So anyway, that was a quick look at uh, Mutation Difficulty 2 with the Paladin build version 1. I think there's definitely some improvements to be made. Maybe we'll go try an M3 now. Probably not going to be up on YouTube. <laughs> but if this is on YouTube and you enjoyed this sort of silly build and you want to see more deep dives into this kind of, you know, uh, unusual builds, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to see more content, and I'll catch you guys all in the next video.